This uh, like I like to, you know, I learned this when I was trying to learn how to improvise. Just the one, two, three, five of every scale. Then we just apply that to improv. You're really just kind of having a half of a scale and half of a chord already from that little exercise. Like understand how the five chord moves to the one chord. What changes? And I mean, he'll show you that. When you play just the F chord, it has its own function. And the next chord in the tune is really written as a C7. But as Tom said, you can make that a G minor. And the only thing that's really changed is the root, of course. It's no longer a G in the a, a C in the bass, it would be a G. But you can spell the, the first three notes here, this G, B flat, and D, are the same. Then you'd have an F here, which naturally would conflict because in the C7 you'd have E. But that F, which is the seventh of the G minor, is going to resolve to that E and make a real beautiful transition. Kind of remember that somewhere, or remember it on there, I guess. Chords have notes that you already know one three five seven nine that kind of business and then the passing chords of the upper extensions back right to five. the passing chords you so a c7 i would play the g minor right now let's go to that g minor and then go back to the yeah. within that g the minor resolution of the chord you want to hear right. it when it moves so i'm going to tell you yeah. on yeah. oh, this g minor Remember this: that seventh, the seventh of a G minor is an F. Five to one. Seventh, what will fall to the next chord and become the third of the next chord. So. Uh -huh. ah, then then now, now it's a C seven. Okay. Now it's a C seven. So here's the, the tune. The tension and release notes are this one. So the seventh becomes the third of the next chord. And thirds become sevenths. It's really kind of trade place. It's going to fall down to the third of the next chord. So the seventh on a C chord is, of course, B flat. And 
that wants to resolve down to the A on the F chord. You can finish it all the way down and create half of a scale right there, which comes back to those first five notes. The one chord, the two chord, then when you play the five chord, now you've played every note possible in that scale. There's the first three notes of the scale, then the next three, and then finally the last one that you haven't played. That's the whole scale. Celtic music and old Renaissance music would have that pedal tone go all the way through the song. Thank you. 
<laughs> that concludes our recording session. Thank you very much.